Arc Energy is a global company providing a wide array of products and services within the energy sector. How it's done visited their New Iberia, Louisiana fabrication shop to learn more about midstream skids. All this is used for is to measure the fluid being produced or actually a midstream company, so being transported from the producer to the refiner or the transportation company to the refinery. So this is a measurement point. Some customers want to be able to function that skid itself for just a meter. You'll have valves to open and close that line. You'll have uh, transmitters to tell them what the temperature of the, the fluid is or the gas is. And you'll have uh, pressure indicators to send a signal to say how much pressure is going through that line. And then these here, they're open floor skids with grading. We put the grading to where they can walk on top, access anything. Some skids may not have grading, may just be open skid to where they can just access from the side of the skid. Other skids, a solid plate on the inside, where anything contaminant from the skid that could be dropped off will be caught inside the skid, and they'll have a drain port to where they can put that into a container and haul it off to where it's not impacted the environment or anything else. It's all self-contained. The amount of piping that they need, the size of the piping, and how many different uh, connection locations that they're going to need is okay. going to determine its basic footprint. The process starts with the structure. A mechanical will assemble and weld their supports. When their supports are up, we will drill and tap our holes before it goes to uh, paint. Everything starts off with the project manager, bidding the jobs and getting material lists and all the materials. Once the, the material is received, the project manager will release the, the prints to Scotty QC. From there, the shop foreman will go with Scotty and will do a sign off. That means now the prints are in my hands. From there, I'll issue the prints to the fitters, the fitters with, with the cut list. All the information is written down, all the heat numbers are written down, all the lengths of the pipe are written down to where we know exactly where it goes on the spool. The well will put Spool number 1301, it's drawing 101, and he has a tracker sheet that he goes down and he'll mark all these wells that he welded. So if one weller wells uh, three, four, and five, he has it. If well, uh, another weller does one, two, and six, he has it for x-ray purposes. Because it's a stainless steel, stainless steel sugars, it, it oxidizes real quick. It's, in a way, as you can understand, it's just like a very brittle black, substance on the inside of the well that just wouldn't be acceptable. So you have to purge it, you have to purge all of the oxygen out, all of the air out, and you replace that air with argon, and that argon fills up. We run our argon through the pipe and through sponges. It purges out all of the air, and all you have is 100% argon, and then you make your weld, and you get a nice pretty silver bead when it's all, when it's all done. For production uh, reasons, we put our tacks, we do bridge tacks, we weld in between the tacks, and then we cut out the tacks. After we cut out all of the tacks and everything is welded in between, everything stayed, nothing moved, we weld in between. After it repurges, we weld in between the tacks, and then fill and cap it, and then that'll be done for that weld. So what we have is a stress relief oven. It's 10 foot wide by 10 foot long by 20 foot deep. It's fully insulated. What we do is we can get temperatures up to 2200 degrees and hold it consistently. Everything is completely automated to where we can control the temperature, slowly increasing up and holding at certain temperatures. We'll put items in here to where once it's welded, you have uh, metals that are hardened and you, your molecules are pretty tight. So what you want to do is kind of cook everything at a certain temperature to where everything's going to release and relax to where you don't run any risk of fracturing or cracking in, in production. So it'll come in here, usually a test we can hold up to, you know, four to eight hours where it'll get to 400 degrees and then up to again to about 1125 degrees hold and then we'll step it back down to ambient temperature. So this is the header skid. This okay. is where it actually takes several pieces of equipment onto one skid and distributes it out into different directions. You can take like a scrubber or separator or line heater and 
you're getting different gases, chemicals, oils, whatever it may be, coming from several different pieces of equipment. It's going to flow through that line and distribute out to other pieces of equipment inside a facility. So instead of having a whole bunch of spaghetti noodles, it's all confined to one single space and kept it neat okay. and organized. These skids here are just a measurement skid. So you have basically just one fluid or one type of gas or one process, so to speak, going through just to measure how much is flowing through that single pipe. Once these ship out to the site, they will run more conduit, uh, tying this, these wires in, going to that computer over there. That's basically what that is, is a computer. And all these, uh, all these devices will either receive information or send information to the computer about you know, pressure, temperature, whatever is going on with the product flowing through these pipes.